The Land PKS Land Cover Module is used to measure and monitor vegetation cover. It can be used in rangelands, in pastures, or it can be used in crop fields to measure crop residue cover, weed cover, or even planting density. The only tools necessary to use this are a stick, for example, a meter stick with five marks on it, a yard stick also with five marks, or simply a stick from a tree or a bush marked at even intervals across that stick. It also requires some sort of a pin that we can drop to the ground at each of those five points. For example, as we see here, a pin flag, or we can use a piece of grass, or in this case a forb, again, that's reasonably long and straight that we can then drop to the ground. The method is relatively fast. It can be completed in well under 20 minutes once you get some practice with it. And the results are immediately presented back to you even if you do not have connectivity to the internet. I'm going to demonstrate how someone would complete a land cover transect after they had a little bit of practice and if they were only completing the point intercept part of the protocol. So I'm not going to include the, the gap, the height, or the density in this particular case. Bare ground, bare ground, rock, rock, woody litter. Bare ground, woody litter, rock, rock, herbaceous litter. Bare ground, rock, woody litter, shrub and plant base, shrub, bare ground, bare ground, shrub, bare ground, bare ground. Grass, herbaceous litter, shrub, grass, herbaceous litter, shrub, herbaceous litter, herbaceous litter, rock. So I've completed one transect, I pace back to my center point, and I initiate the next transect. Bare ground, bare ground, bare ground, bare ground, and bare ground. Obviously, not the best environment. We've only got about 200 millimeters of rain here, eight inches or so, but the method works in pretty much any environment, including a dense tropical forest.